In this unit, we analyze our survey's findings when it comes to cross-cultural interaction barriers and see that both European and Southern and Eastern Mediterranean respondents report language problems as the most significant, at 57% and 39% respectively. This was then closely followed by cultural barriers at 38% and 25% respectively. As we take a closer look at our experts' comments on these results, we begin with Alexandra Buchler commenting that one of the most significant findings is that the media are seen as contributing to a negative rather than positive image of the region, and that their impact on changing views and perceptions is at best limited. Trying to build on the survey results, Buchler advocates for planning a strategy for a translation in the Euro-Mediterranean region that takes into consideration linguistic and cultural complexities that help foster intercultural dialogue. Aliki Moshis Goge underlines in the survey analysis that art and creativity are extremely important and capable of transcending cultural, religious, and language barriers. Paul Gillespie reiterates that according to the survey findings, when asked about barriers to cross-cultural encounters, language, culture, and stereotypes loomed large on both sides. While the media were not mentioned explicitly, he finds that it does indeed play into the problem, as stereotypes are especially, though not only, media creations. For this reason, Gillespie calls for much greater attention on this issue from practitioners and researchers. Ines Safi suggests people on both shores of the Mediterranean understand that prevailing views are an impediment to dialogue and mutual trust, and calls for the promotion of female role models to break some of the gender stereotyping in the region. For Bernard Abrignani, though language was the number one barrier, when combining the survey's figures for cultural differences and stereotypes, it quickly becomes clear that stereotypes cannot be ignored and is imperative to be understood. He sheds light on youth exchange from both shores of the Mediterranean as the key to counter prejudices and foster intercultural dialogue. He further urges the avoidance of what has, unfortunately, become a reality today by quoting Averroes, a 12th century philosopher, scientist, theologian, and many other things. Ignorance leads to fear. Fear leads to hate. Hate leads to violence. That's the equation.